Hello friends, this is Ricky. My channel is uh, Bug Brothers and uh, I usually make videos about uh, rebuilding this 67 VW I have. Today I want to talk to you about ape hangers and when you put them on, what you have to go through. So on this uh, Sportster here, I wanted to go with inch and a quarter bars. So uh, the uh, I forget the name of them right off, but anyways, these wouldn't fit the one inch bars. They're for uh, one and a quarter bars. They're for one inch. So what I had to do is I had to buy some, and the ones that I bought didn't screw down from the top. They screwed from the bottom in order to fit the one and a quarter bars I had to get that tight and anyway it didn't have like you see right here I don't know if you can see it but it doesn't have the holes here and here for the both the speedometer on so naturally I had to make some way to put the speedometer on and I just bent like eighth inch steel drilled holes in it and bolted it to that it works fine but uh, here's the thing um, when I put these eggs on I knew you'd have to extend the throttle cables two throttle cables uh, the clutch cable all the wires and uh, the brake cable for the front or the brake uh, line for the front so, what's happening here is uh, I had a hard time uh, with the wires because I bought a set, but the wires were two inches short. I don't know what the difference is. Must be something to do with the bigger bars because when it had these tiny, tiny, tiny bars on it that are just ridiculously small, almost like drag bars. And from the factory. So these apes um, are a lot bigger and the uh, electrical wires were just too short. So I had to splice myself, which wasn't that bad. Uh, so uh, instead of using uh, the kit that came with it, I just spliced myself and it's not that bad. So uh, I put all the cables on and mounted the speedometer and everything and started to bleed the brakes. Here's where the trouble came in. Uh, I bled them this way every millions of ways you can think of. Not really millions, that's exaggeration, but anyways, a lot of ways to bleed the brakes. I went through it. I was three days trying to get the brakes bled up to these apes and I think probably that's that's a big problem with these uh, putting apes on is to get them ble brakes bled so I watched a few videos and I seen one guy he couldn't get it's just regular handlebars and he couldn't get the brakes bled he tried suction method pumping method and he tried a syringe method back bleeding and nothing worked and it seemed like he didn't really say anything and then all of a sudden he had somebody hold the caliper up and he put some uh, he put some uh, cut off uh, saw tools just for the width inside of the caliper to hold the brakes apart and then he did a traditional way, pumped and bled it that way with somebody holding it. And I said, well, I've tried everything, uh, but I didn't have any help. So what I did was I uh, took the caliper off and un unscrewed the brake line, fed it through the forks, and then after I thread through the forts, I put it back on the caliper and I hung it right up here on this nail. 
right here. And I was able to do the clutch with this hand and turn the caliper right here. But I didn't hang it on that nail. I actually screwed it to there so it was solid. And I could turn the wrench. So I would pop, turn the wrench, bleed it into a bucket I had hanging here. And after about four or five pumps, I started to feel a brake pedal. I was so happy. But uh, I finally got a bread, bled, and I remembered watching one guy on uh, one of his videos. He said that when he bled the brakes, um, that air always goes up. So if you get air trapped in the master cylinder, there's no way to get it out. I mean, I wash the bubbles and everything like they say, but it just wouldn't come out of the master cylinder. The air wouldn't, no matter what I did. So when I hung it up there, um, it seemed like the air just ran right up and it was gone. I let it out the bull eater screw. And so about 15 pumps, I had full brakes and never looked back. Well, I had to unscrew it, feed the line back through, screw it up, put the caliper back on, and I had no brakes. So I bled them a couple times, come back up. So I think it's because I got some fluid back in the master cylinder again. So uh, if you're having a problem with that, get somebody to hold it up or screw it to the wall like I did. And I hope this video is helpful to somebody. And I want to tell you a little story about apes. When I was a kid, we rode bicycles. Uh, we had like a bicycle gang and we would ride and pretend like we was a motorcycle gang or something like that. And uh, I had a, a Stingray, a, I had an orange crate one time and I had a Huffy called a rail and they all had banana seats and ape hangers. And all my life, I always thought ape hangers was eight, the number eight and panger, like P-A-G-E-R, panger, eight, panger. And it wasn't until I was like 50 years old when I finally put an ape hanging on a tree to guys hanging on the motorcycles with real high handlebars that ape hanger finally come across to me. And I just saw it really that funny story in. And uh, hey, good luck to you guys. Visit my channel often. And uh, if you like uh, VW Beatles, here's where you, you can watch some uh, stuff on it. And uh, uh, hit the bell, notifications, uh, like, thumbs up, all that stuff. And I appreciate it very much. See you later.